Now, uh, we've managed to uh, get back into Nehemiah uh, in Antarctica. This is uh, Nehemiah, they call it Nehemiah uh, 3, but it's actually the station 1 because there's different camera angles. Um, now, I want you to look closely at the end of this building as the light source, whether it be the sun or something else, rises um, in, in this direction is towards the west. So we'll just step it through and watch what happens. It's the most unusual thing you'll ever see. What is causing the light to break up like that? I'm not doing it here. I'm not doing any of these white surfaces here or these posts underneath it. Uh, but it's doing it there. So in other words, we can now see it appearing on these walls here. So I'll take it over and show you. It's just starting to appear on the structure here. But not at the dome on top. The dome itself being round. And you see that the light is on this side. So if you, this would indicate that the light that this is picking up is coming from an angle that is almost 90 degrees to what this light source appears to be. Now because of these posts here, they're square. So we get a strong light reflection off this part of the post here. We'll just go forward a little bit further. And now we see up top the light is doing this. What's happening in the light source? We see down the other end here, it has also got streaks in it. So this would indicate that the light source is coming from the angle, which would be out here somewhere, possibly at uh, nearly 90 degrees to the building. So the light is coming in hitting here and bouncing back to the camera, which is fine. But it's also happening. I'll zoom in. So there's your light angle. There it is there. There it is there. There it is on the post. There it is there. There's the sunrise coming up in the west. There's no doubt in the world about that. Then there's these light reflections here underneath the building. But that means that the light source is very low on the horizon, which would be indicating a sunrise or a object rise. So I'll just increase it a bit. Give you a full shot. Now we go forward. And there we have this fantastic array of light reflecting at an angle and coming up at angles like this. Even the light source on the snow seems to be odd. Very white. The sun is yellow, as far as I recall. Here we have underneath the... And that shadow line will give you the angle of the bright light rising in the west. Light here. Here again.
see that the light here is now coming from this direction if you like or this direction down here but uh, that's about the center point of the light so we keep it going so it's moving around now it's starting to pick up this edge here and again we see very odd breaking up of the light in as if it is um, got a Venetian blind in front of it very odd indeed we see the shadows or the light breaking up around here it's also gone dark here that hasn't changed that much now it seems to be another light source which is now pink now we're going into um, the light source is now to the east and it's getting darker we'll run that through quicker what also I found that um, some of the stars have a square box around them. Let's see if I can find one here. Well, there, for example. But there was quite a few up here before. On there, got the square box around it. And it carries along with the star, so therefore it is um, hooked, linked to that white object. I'll take it back a little bit. There it is, there. And there it is. You can see it's starting to form around it there. <laughs> Very weird. There's another one just forming there, square. I want to get Donnie Gilson onto this. This is a UFO for sure, you know. He's got an uh, night, he's hanging out that. There's a spaceship coming down and all this crap that he goes on with. Um, little alien suit, maybe he's going to lower it down on a string or something. There's two dark areas here that don't appear to have nothing in it. Another one there. Like this is not normal. The camera doesn't do that. Now we're coming back to the strange lights again. So remember that side there where the light is. That is the west. Pink light. Pink light. Becoming white light. There we are. I can see it's on that post there, but not on the top of that bit there. Same there. You see the light forming on the red there. Slightly you can see it here. I uh, don't know whether our uh, webcam is going to pick it up or not. So when you get lights here, you've got that light there, which is indicating the light is coming out from this direction here, from the west. It's absolute. There's no uh, argument about that. Now call me old-fashioned, but I've been looking at the sun for a long time. 
in my 69 years. It's always come out fucking easy. Call me old fashioned. There's a light you can see as it's coming around to start reflecting on this side. And there's all this strange breaking up of bits here. I mean, we've been watching this for five months now. We've never seen anything like this where the light breaks up in, uh, in uh, light then dark, light then dark, light then dark, as if it was stripped, strips of dark in front of the sun. still see it here so it's obviously it's in the camera picking it up the uh, breaking up of the light against the surface of this building now it's going to the pink stage we can look at our shadows we see the light is now no longer here and it's coming on these posts here. Remember, these are square posts. So it's now coming on this surface side of the post. And then the sun has set in the east. And now it goes into night. Uh, time at this moment of uh, setting is 17.10, which is about right. 